Hey guys, Ben here. Um, today let's have a look at these uh, interesting little concepts. Um, okay, so these um, to mo to model these in Revit um, is not as easy as it looks like because so for example this one uh, I imagine that's a floor and then somehow we can bend the floor up, but uh, no, we can't do it in Revit. And also, say, in the same this one. So, uh, you might think uh, we can model a house and somehow just you know bend it to create this uh, um, concept. But in Revit, we uh, we you you have to just model it like bit by bit, and yeah. And that's pretty much it. So let's try quickly. Um, I will see if we can just do these two today. Okay, so let's do it. So first, let's go create a new project. So uh, here, so I'm going to show you this one quickly. Okay, so um, it's basically we can just model a floor with a hole here, a triangular shape hole, and we need to work out the size of this one because we need to. So imagine if we bend this down, the size of this plus the curved part uh, should match this size. Okay, so. So let's go back to Revit. So first a floor. Okay, so it is just a rectangular shape, and then I'll just do a triangular. Uh, okay, so 45 degree. Okay, trim, and that's a floor. So let's have a look uh, in 3D view, and then we need to work out. So if we bend, if we have a floor, this exactly the same size, the shape, and bend it. So with that curve arc, and then how much left is over here at the top on the top. So we need to work out. So let's go. Um, I'll just. Uh, oh, actually, let's just do a screenshot. So it's. So imagine this is it, and then we will bend, it, and then there will be some left here. Okay. So now we know this is a four meter. So the default height for four meters, so that's a radius. Oh, that's oh, so sorry, that's not radius. That's a d. Okay, so diameter. That's a d, and we know that um, the length from here, the length of the arc to here, uh, equals um, d uh, half of d times pi. Okay. And then what left is we just need to minus so this one, uh, this one. So if I call it x, so if I call this one y, so y equals x minus this uh, arc. Um, what do we call this? Curve uh, arc length. <laughs> okay, so arc length. And yeah, that's that's it. So let's go to. Revit and so I'm going to um, uh, hang on, let me think. So go to floor plan. So um, maybe just uh, or actually we can just do a, some calculation in in the calculator. So what do we have here? So this one x plus Okay, we need to calculate this one half. So this is half. Sorry, well, <laughs> I'll just do it. Okay, no. half. Half times d times pi. So what's that? Uh, half, half, 0.5 times d, which is 4 meter. Okay, so times pi, 3.141492, should be enough. Equals, okay. So let's make it um, how about six to a zero. Okay, so six to a zero, and then this one. So we need to calculate. So what's this one? What's the length of this one? Okay, so that's this number. So if we use this, uh, we can just uh, use this one minus this number. So it should be the same, just uh, negative. So that's fine equals this. So now we have this one, 6090 is what's left on the top. If, if we go look at this, it's the it's the length from, uh, I'll just 
I'll just do a new one. It's this one, so the distance. Okay. And okay, so 6090. So go to Revit and we can just do uh, um, actually we can do a floor. We can copy this one, control C and paste in the same location, edit boundary. So um, I'll just mirror this, uncheck copy, go to the other side, delete this, and then uh, we just need to dimension it, dimension this one too. Oh, actually, we can just offset, uh, what's the number again? 6090, so 6090, go there, and then that's it. We just need to, um, how do we do it? Move, maybe? Yeah, okay, so delete this. And this is what's left on the top. Okay, so finish. It goes to review, and you will see, just uh, uh, then we need to go change this to a level one. And then we just need to create that shape. So which is, um, so this part. So to create this part, the easiest way is, so we can use model in place and use swept blend. But before that, we need to create a reference plan here. So perpendicular to this edge. Okay, so we are going to use this one for the path of the swept plan. So go model in place. Uh, we're going to use ma uh, wall, sorry, wall. Um, and okay, so go uh, set work plan, pick a plan, or, or hang on, cancel that. So do it again, wall. Okay, so we need to pick, let's pick swept blend first. Okay, so swept blend, set work plan, pick a plan, okay, and pick this reference plan. Okay, so now um, let's just use the 3D view, that's for, that, that's okay. And then we can create that path first. So the path will be half circle. So let's just use this one. So start and a radius arc. So it'll be, just make, if, make sure, if you pick this point, you need to pick this point here. If you pick that, this point, you need to pick this point here. Okay, so let's pick this one and the one close to each other. Okay, so then that's it. So this is the path. And then we need to create, uh, go, uh, oh, hell. Yeah, I think that's, that's correct. What's going on here? Where's my profile? I think, oh, something's not right. Um, sketch path. Yeah, so it's there, finish. Empty. Oh, what's going on? Um, sorry about that. Uh, maybe I click too fast. So I'm not sure what's happening here. So let's cancel it and do it again. So create, swept blend, and sketch path, set to a plan. Oh, sorry. It seems we need to sketch path first. Um, anyway, so pick a plan. Okay. Oh, we, we can't pick a plan here because that's reference plans, not visible. We need to go back to ground floor and set a plan, pick a plan, and pick this word, uh, reference plan to go back to 3D view. So now let's try to create this one, um, this one. Okay, so once again, so the, yeah, this time it's correct. So previously we probably created some model line or some, you know, reference on some, some, um, not this path. So once you create this one, you will see these, these are the two, um, uh, what do we call this reference plan to place uh, profiles. So go here, finish this path, and then you can, so first it will be profile one, so you can just edit profile. So because we know that uh, the profile will match the shape of this slide, we can just tab and pick this, okay, so finish, and uh, click on this select profile two, edit profile, pick line, and then just need to pick this edge, and finish. So then finish, so now we, we have this shape, so then finish model, and that's it. So um, the only thing um, not perfect is the line here, so and also when we have these um, geometry join uh, 
to each, teach each other. Excuse me. <clears throat> so a lot of time when we click on join geometry, it won't work. See, it, yeah, it won't work. So we the, uh, the the shape is correct, but only you will always see this line. But if you render, of course, you won't see. Okay, so so this is it, and also um, sometimes you need to make sure that uh, use the same material. This one's uh, there's no material at all. So let's just give it a material, and we'll just copy this one. Control C. Okay, okay. Select this geometry. Edit profile. Put in material. Finish and. And let's change this to you know a shade, maybe a realistic, and try to get rid of that line. So uh, so you will see it's still there, but if you render, you won't see them. Or the other way to hide them is you can go graphic display and uncheck this show edge, and then you'll be you won't be there anymore. So this is it. This is how we can model this shape. Uh, uh, we can't uh, change the shape. We have to model them individually to you know, to create this. So the next one. So let's quickly do the other one. So this and this one. Yeah, uh, we have to. We can't. We can't create. Um, although we can create a you know a slant slant wall, but uh, it's easier to actually to use. Um, sometimes use model in place or sometimes use mixing but t today I'm going to show you how if if I'm going to model it uh, what uh, how so what, what method uh, I'm going to use so I will I will first model the shape just like this house but I'm going to use model in place and use extrusion uh, Hang on a sec. Uh, actually, not really extrusion. We can just uh, we can model it using sweep as well. Okay, so let's try that. So go to elevation first. Uh, so let's just go to elevation. So I'll just look here. So imagine that's a level. So maybe I'll just drag this to here. So I know where the four meter is. So roughly put uh, four meters as roughly seeing high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use model in place, okay? So and then uh, I'll probably just use generic model, and I'm going to use a uh, draw a uh, or oh, hell. Before we do this, we need to have uh, some reference plan so we can we can place the sweep, okay? So go to ground floor. So I'm going to just draw a reference plan here. So uh, we're going to because in elevation we are going to create some um, uh, create a path for the sweep on this work plan. Okay, so go to um, maybe I'll just name it name it one. So go to south elevation and again go create a model in place generic model. Okay and okay. So go sweep and uh, sketch path. So now we will ask you uh, which um, reference plan which word plan do we want to use so we can pick uh, this one reference plan because we named it otherwise we need to go back to floor plan and pick it and come back to this view click OK so now we can draw it here in this elevation so what I'm going to do is I'll just draw something like this and this will be uh, maybe I'll just mirror this so okay so this is the path and then uh, we're going to finish this one and edit profile. So now we have to go out. Okay, so go to elevation. So looking from the side or go to 3D view. So in 3D view, I'm going to roughly. So uh, I'm, I'm, I imagine the. So this is the uh, top of the a roof, and then depending on the the. Uh, the pitch, so roughly, uh, I just so this is 30 degree the pitch, and then one again, I imagine the size of the, yeah, I'm not sure, 
uh, maybe let's make it four meter so each side will be a meter um, by by the height will be let's make it three meter maybe okay so now we can just mirror this to the other side draw a line finish trim tr and this will be that the shape of the side and then finish this one and then this is it and then what we need to do is we just uh, we just cut away so i imagine there's no so you can leave it you can just model floor or you can just uh, in still in this model in place you can just create an extrusion so this time make sure so it's ground floor which is correct or oh, actually uh, you can tell from this you can see it's actually um to this point is a little bit too low but that's fine we can always adjust the path of that swipe so we can just uh, finish this void first so as long as it's bigger than this house that's fine finish so so currently it's uh, solid that's fine we can just drag it down okay so you can change this to a void and then you can use cut and that's it and uh, it seems it's a bit low that's that's fine so um we can adjust the the profile so edit swipe and edit profile so let's just uh, copy this mv maybe let's move up a little bit uh, maybe 1.5 meter roughly guess <laughs> finish yeah i think that's close okay so yeah and that's i think that's that's it um so where am i oops sorry okay so here um yeah for the windows um you can you can create some uh, i think you can create some face-based family and then place it then um and also if you want to create walls and roofs um, from this uh, model in place so you can because this is a generic model okay so you can place wall and roof on them so you use wall by face so you can pick the this face and so you will have these walls okay so same if you do roof by face you can pick this face and create a roof so and you will see this is a quite nice roof and that's that's it um, if you have any questions please let me know um, and also please uh, when you play uh, when you um, place uh, for uh, images in this file please just uh, write something there so because some of the image i don't know what you want me to uh, show you okay so that's it for today um tomorrow we we can try try this um thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye